What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be going over how you can install Pixelmon onto your device and your Apex server. Before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get notified of every new tutorial we upload, just like this one. In vanilla Minecraft, large number of players enjoy traveling the vast worlds, as well as having their own pets. However, after some time, the same pets, the dog, cat, the parrot, and now the new axolotl, the worlds still can become repetitive. This is where the Pixamon Reforge mod pack comes into play. Bringing the ever-loved Pokemon elements into everyday Minecraft exploration. Installing this mod pack is so easy with Apex Hosting, and today we're going to go over how to get it installed and how to play. The Pixelmon Reforge mod pack is a 1.12.2 pack with less than 10 mods. Still packed with content, of course, it's available on a lot of platforms like CurseForge, MultiMC, and Reforge.gg. With mods such as Biomes of Plenty, and journey map, it adds additional biomes, flora, and more to keep it looking nice and interesting to explore. This mod pack includes several gameplay elements from a lot of different Pokemon titles, from Pokemon centers, battling trainers, and even a stat system so that you can create your own powerful Pixelmons. This adaptation of Pokemon is truly honest and faithful to what Nintendo has given us. And with that said, let's learn how to get it installed onto your device. If you want to use CurseForge and you don't already have CurseForge, this is where you're going to get it. Download.curseforge.com All you need to do is click on an installer and run it so that you can install CurseForge onto your device. And then, once CurseForge is installed, of course, all you're going to need to do is head to Minecraft and then click on Browse Mod Packs. Pixelmon is pretty popular, so if it's not on the front page, you can just search it up at the top. But all you're going to need to do is find the jar and then click install on the orange button to the right of the mod pack. Once this mod pack is installed, all you're going to need to do is head to my mod packs and then find the Pixelmon mod pack and just click play. For installing Pixelmon on your Ticket Launcher, you're going to need to head to the Tekken Launcher download page and either click on Windows, Mac, OS X, or Linux. And of course, this is linked below the video, but there it is again so you can see better. And then once you do have the Technic Launcher installed and you're logged in, all you need to do is head over to Mod Packs and search up Pixelmon. Let me type it in and then hit enter. And what you're looking for is the Pixelmon Mod Mod Pack. Just click on that one. And it'll say Pixelmon Reforged on the page, and all you need to do is click Install at the bottom right of the launcher. And then when you click Install, it's just going to automatically download and install onto your device. And then once it's installed, you can go ahead and click Play. Now, to install Pixelmon onto your server, all you need to do is head to your server panel and then scroll down until you find the jar file selection. To the right of that, if you don't have Pixelmon there, then what you need to do is search it up and click on Pixelmon Reforged. And when you click on Pixelmon Reforged, make sure to click on Change Version as well. And then if you're not using Biomes of Plenty, click on Create New World. But if you are, click on Use Existing World and then don't restart your server. But restart your server if you're using Vanilla Generation. Now to make the change that you need to make to use Biomes of Plenty, you're going to need to snap your server. And then of course, make sure to click on Config Files, and then click on Server Settings. From here, what you're going to want to do is scroll down until you find Level Type. And then in the text box, go ahead and type Biomes OP, B-I-O-M-E-S-O-P, in all caps, and then scroll down to the very bottom of the page and click on save and make sure to create a new world and then of course feel free to restart your server and then you can click on the name of your server at the top of the page 
and wait for your server to turn on to know when to connect to your Pixelmon Minecraft server. When you first spawn into Pixelmon, the first choice you're gonna make is choosing your first starter Pixelmon. It feels pretty similar and reminiscent of getting your starter in a regular Pokemon game. You can choose between fire, water, and grass starters from each of the main Pokemon games Pokemon has made so far. And they're probably gonna update Pixelmon as they go on. As you explore the world, you're gonna find tons of different Pixelmon from every generation. So you have the first generation, second generation, third generation, all the way up to our current Gen 8. So you're gonna have lots of options if you wanna catch them all. But the main goal is to collect every single Pokemon, filling up the Pokedex to 100% completion. With almost 900 of them, this is no easy task. But some of the most impressive Pixelmon are the legendary. These legendary and mythical creatures can be harder to find, but are often much more powerful because of it. As you complete the Pokédex, you're going to find that searching for Pokémon is going to be a difficult task, but trading with other players is to fill in those gaps of Pokémon that you can't find. Unsurprisingly, another large part of Pixelmon are the battles and the trading. As you explore the world, you may encounter a lot of fellow trainers and other Pixelmon, allowing you to battle them for money or for resources. Additionally, one of the many blocks in the mod pack is the trade machine, which is also in the regular Pokemon games, allowing you to trade your Pixelmon back and forth with other players. Even if you trade back and forth, this is a great way to help other players fill out their Pokedexes and, of course, yours. Now it's time to go over the most rewarding part of training Pokemon, but we're going to go over evolution in Pixelmon. As your Pixelmon grow with you, they're soon going to be able to evolve to more powerful forms. Some are going to evolve at certain levels and some are going to need specific items. And some evolve with the aforementioned trade system, meaning that when you trade them with somebody else, they evolve. Ways to capture Pokemon are with Pokeballs. In order to catch a Pixelmon, you're first going to need to get some Pokeballs. There are a few ways to get them, such as through shops, but you mostly can just craft them yourself. Throughout the world, you're going to find apricorn trees, which are the main ingredients to make Pokeball shells. To make a Pokeball, you're first going to need to create a base using three iron and three apricorns to make Pokeball shell of your choice. When that is done, you're going to use the Pixelmon's special anvil and a hammer to hit them into the shapes. You can then combine the top, the bottom, and the button to make a finalized Pokeball. You can even make an automatic anvil, which will negate the need for a hammer or a regular anvil, and you can mass produce Pokeballs. Another really cool part of Pixelmon is that they added buildings and gyms into the games. In some areas of the villages, you're going to find some buildings like the Pokemart and the Poke Center. The Pokemart is used to buy different items like the Pokeballs, potions, as well as other items. The currency used can be obtained through winning against other trainers that spawn on the map. The Poke Center is another very important building. It's used to heal your wounded Pokemon. After battles, it's recommended to bring your Pixelmon here to bring them back to full health. It's free use, so come as often as you enjoy. In the world, you're also going to find different gyms to challenge. Each gym is a different type and will give a different badge, such as the heat badge for the fire gym. Within it, you're going to be able to challenge several trainers until you reach the leader by the end. By conquering them, you'll claim the badge and complete the gym, not to mention you're going to get a ton of XP. Another interesting mechanic in the Pixelmon Reforge mod pack is the inclusion of the breeding system from the main game, within an additional touch of course. In order to breed Pokemon, you're first going to need to place a ranch block, then 
place your desired pixel mons within that range. You're going to need to then ensure that you have a certain environment for Pixelmon, which of course depends on the type. Meaning if you have a grass type, you're gonna need a grassy area with different grass stuff to assist in the process. Once you get an egg, simply walking around with it in your inventory or your hotbar will allow it to hatch. And the next cool mechanic is IVs and EVs. When it comes to obtaining a strong Pokemon, there are two stats that are really cool. These are IVs and EVs, which determine a Pixelmon's stats, sometimes before they're even made. IVs, otherwise known as individual values, are determined when a Pixelmon spawns in. If the stats are all 31, it's a perfect Pixelmon. IVs can be checked by using the slash IVS and then whatever slot number of your Pixelmon command. For example, slash IVS1 will bring up your first Pixelmon IV in your inventory. EVs also known as effort values are determined through training and items. Each Pixelmon that is defeated will increase the EVs in a specific stat. Each Pixelmon will start off with zero until they get properly trained they'll have a max of 252 in a single stat, or a total of 510. You can check them with slash EVS and then slot, similar to the IVS command. Some common Pixelmon commands are slash breed, and then whatever slot number of whatever Pokemon you'd like to look at, and then the other one that you'd like to breed. This will breed the two Pokemon so that they can make a new Pokemon. And then slash freeze will freeze all the Pixelmon in place. Slash give money and then player names and then the amount will give the player a chosen amount of money. Slash Poke Battle and then whatever players would like to battle will begin a battle between two to four players. Slash Poke Give and then a player name and then a Pokemon will give a player a specific Pixelmon. And Poke Heal, or Slash Poke Heal, and then the player name, will heal the party of a specific player. And our last command is Slash Poke Spawn, and then a Pokemon, and then an XYZ. This will force spawn a Pokemon at the desired location. But not everything is perfect in Johto as it is with any mod pack though. There are some common issues that some players may run into when they're trying to install Pixelmon. The first issue that can arise is when your server is stuck loading. This often occurs if a pre-existing world was loaded onto the server when you try to load Pixelmon. When you start Pixelmon on your server, you need to make a new world when changing to the mod pack to prevent these issues. Alternatively, if the mod was removed from the mod pack and the server isn't starting, you're gonna to need to go to the server console. And in the type bar, go ahead and hit slash FML confirm to force start the world. And if you, for some reason, have the mod pack on your server and the Pixelmon mobs aren't spawning on the server, the primary cause of this is the server not properly using the mod pack. Ensure that the server was switch to Pixelmon Reforge if you can, and then restart it. Well folks, that's all I've got for you today. I really want to emphasize how awesome this mod pack is. It's faithful, has the same vibes as Pokemon, and is a lot of fun. You can put a ton of hours into this and your server patrons are going to as well. Well folks, that's all we've got for you today. Thanks for watching this tutorial and we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.